Now, in this question, we have to find out the zeros of the polynomial fx equals abx square plus b square minus acx minus bc. So, this is a given quadratic polynomial. So, coefficient of x square, you can see this is ab. Coefficient of x is b square minus ac and the constant term is minus bc, isn't it? And we have to find the roots and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients, right? So how to find out the zero? So you know, um, finding out zero is nothing but uh, finding those values of x which make fx zero. So we are saying fx is equal to zero. We have to find those values of x for which x is zero. Okay, so let us write a b x squared minus, sorry, it is plus b square minus a c x minus b c equals zero. Now if you know the quadratic formula or Sridharacharya's rule you can always find that but we will try and see if we can split the middle term now if you see the product of the coefficient of x square and the constant term is nothing but a b times minus b c which is minus a b square c isn't it now the same thing can also be seen as b square minus a c if you see these are the two uh, you know the split terms if I multiply this also you'll get the same thing so hence and thankfully it's given in the question itself right so now we can write this particular equation as a b x square plus b square x minus a c x minus b c equals 0 now taking b x common from the first two term you'll get a x plus x sorry uh, a x plus b isn't it yeah and taking c common minus c common you'll get a x plus b again this is equal to zero so hence this can be written as a x plus b times b x minus c is equal to zero that means a x plus b is equal to zero or b x minus c equals to zero that means x is equal to minus b upon a or x is equal to plus c upon b so the zeros of the quadratic polynomial here is the zeros are zeros zeros are alpha let us say alpha is equal to minus b by a and uh, beta is equal to c by b so alpha plus beta will be is equal to nothing but minus b by a plus c by b which is nothing but minus b square plus a c by a b isn't it and now let us also write the uh, if you see the given quadratic uh, polynomial was this so here the b term the coefficient of x is this much and coefficient of a b is this so hence sum of roots from there will be nothing but minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x squared isn't it so if you see alpha plus beta is minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x squared. So what is coefficient of x guys? If you see coefficient of x is this much here. So b square minus ac. And this minus sign is because there was a minus sign here. And divided by coefficient of a x squared which is ab. Right. So I divided that and if you see we get the same as uh, the left hand side. So this is ab. Now if you see both by actually summing the roots and from the formula of sum of roots we get the same thing so hence verified so sum of roots verified isn't it now let us say what is alpha times beta that is product of roots product of roots is nothing but minus b by a the first roots i'm not uh, not supposed to use the word roots product of zeros so minus b by a into c by b is nothing but minus c by a this is the product of the zeros now product of the zeros from the expression is alpha beta is given as nothing but constant term constant term divided by coefficient of x square isn't it so what is constant term guys let's check constant term was minus bc right so constant term was minus bc and the coefficient of x square was ab so it is nothing but minus c upon a so again if you see both are same right both are same so one we found out the actual product of the zeros and the other we found out the zeros the product of zeros from the the polynomial itself without actually doing anything or without solving 
the equation or without finding the actual zeros both match so hence here also it is verified product of roots also is verified